Hi kids, my name's Nicole and you're here for our special thing we do every month where we paint a postcard that's in your box. It's a really small, small piece of paper. Uh -huh. So we're gonna do this. This is our program called Let's Make Art Matter. And you may be wondering, what does that mean? Hmm. When you tell someone actually you matter, it's a very powerful and strong and really cool thing to tell someone that, that you matter to them. So for this postcard, what we're gonna do is I want you to paint someone that matters to you, that you think is beautiful, that is kind, someone that means a lot to you, that you want to tell them, you matter to me, I like you, you're beautiful. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint a beautiful butterfly. Oh. <laughs> so one of our projects is that we made, it's called Beautiful Butterflies, where we did a whole project about this. So we have this one if you wanna paint more butterflies. But for this time, we're just gonna do one. We're gonna draw it on our own together because I know you can do it. So first step is, is I'm going to grab my pencil. I have my supplies already. I got my brush and my watercolors and my postcard. So I'm going to use my pencil and I'm gonna follow my directions and I'm gonna draw our butterfly together. So first step is, is somewhere in the middle towards the top, I want you to draw a circle. Next step is we're gonna draw the body. So we're gonna do is you're gonna draw a really long oval shape. So start on the left side below the head and you're gonna go down, curve, and then curve around and come up like that. That's the next step. Now our butterfly has wings on the left side and the right side. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna look at your body and maybe towards the top right here is I'm gonna draw kind of a triangle or curve shape. So you're gonna come up and curve around. Actually, it's not, uh, yeah, triangles have three sides. So come up and then down and then across. Mm. So we're gonna do the same thing. So those are the top wings. Now let's do the bottom wings. So let's start here and we're gonna go down and maybe this one's more of a curve like that. They all can look different. So I'm gonna do the left, the right side because it's the other side. So around the same spot is I'm gonna go up and down and across. And then we're gonna do the other side, the bottom, and come around like that. Nice. Sweet. Okay. Oh, and then there's antennas. So we're making our beautiful butterfly. Now I have the drawing set, so I'm gonna use my watercolors. And I have my three colors set up. Now, if you wanna mix more colors, so in this one, I had a orange color, so I'm gonna make some orange. So I'm gonna mix my red and my yellow together, or this is magenta. So let's just do one drop because we don't want a lot. Magenta is really strong. And then we're gonna do three drops of yellow and mix that together. So I'm gonna have my orange. Now, let's do the first step, which is painting the first layer of our butterfly. I'm gonna use yellow. Now, if you want to paint any color, I want you to do that. Cause this is your painting and your world. So if you're a butterfly, when we did our project, we made butterflies all different colors. And they were all different sizes too. But I'm gonna use yellow. So I'm painting the head and the body. Doing that. Now, I'm gonna get some water if it starts to get dry because we're painting with watercolors. So water colors are water plus color. I don't know if you realize that. What? <laughs> so, okay, while it's still wet, and if it's not, if it started to dry, what I want you to do is I want you to go and dip in your water and just add a little bit of water to it because we're gonna do this fun technique called color explosions where while it's wet, I'm gonna grab my orange and watch. Keenan, can you do some side effects? <clears throat> so I have color, ready? Let's do the other side. <laughs> then, so we got some cool dots there. Maybe there's a little bit right here. Ooh. <laughs> So cool. Now, I wanna add even a little bit more, actually. I wanna do some red. What happens if I add red? 
Let's do it again. Ready, Keenan? Do, 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 What I want to do is the very last thing with this one is, well, you can add more color, but I want to show you is, can you look at this one and when you're looking at the head and the body, do you notice how there's a little bit of orange and oh. a little bit of yellow? So we do that because right now uh, it looks a little bit flat, but guess what? If you pick up the orange to so pick up a little bit darker color, maybe I'll add some yellow to it. So what I want you to do is I want you to just outline the outside and then it'll start to blend in because it's wet. Mm. Does the work for you. Yeah. Like brownies. <laughs> you hungry? For brownies. <laughs> so do you see how when we did that, it just made it feel more round. Now, if you have a harsh line and you want to add some water, so what you'll do, or blend it in a little bit more. Did you see how I dipped my brush in my water and tapped off to the side? And then you'll go over the line where they touch, where the colors touch each other. And you're just gonna touch it like that and mm. blend it a little bit more. Really fun, easy trick. Okay, now there's a lot going on. So I think what we're going to do is, it's still a little bit wet. So we're gonna take a really quick snack break and then we'll do the background and then we'll be done. How's that sound? Sounds great. Okay, snack break. We, okay, so we are back from our snack break and so our painting is fully dry. Last step is, is I wanna paint the background. Now, my butterfly is painting in the sky, so it's really light blue, so we're gonna paint that. If your butterfly is paint, I'm trying to think what else it would, oh, maybe it's nighttime. Ooh. Oh, and it's a glow in the dark butterfly. Yes. How cool would that be? That would be amazing. So you can do any color, but what I want to show you is, if you want to make a really light blue like this, is here's the trick, is you have blue, but we want to make a light blue. So what you do is you just add water. So I'm dipping my brush in my water and moving it over, and there's our light blue. So the trick is a color, so blue plus water equals light blue. So when we're painting it, oh, do you see how it's a really light blue? That's so nice. So I like using a light color, and it's okay if our colors touch a little bit. So we're gonna paint our background of our painting. Ooh, what? Actually, I was gonna say we could name our butterfly, but remember, this is a you're painting this for someone else. So maybe you write. How cool if you write your name, their name on the postcard when it's dry. Maybe you, or you, I have all these different ideas. I was thinking you can draw some other things in the sky. You can add more color to your butterfly when it's dry. There's so many things. You're just giving this beautiful postcard to someone. That's gonna mean a lot. That is such a pretty blue color. Yeah, you like it? I like that a lot. Cool. So that was the light blue that we painted. So the last step is, is when your background dries, is you can use a crayon, you can use a marker, maybe you have a gold jelly roll, and you're gonna outline your butterfly. And like I was saying when I was painting, maybe you add more color to it, maybe you write the person's name that you're giving this to. There's so many cool things that you can do to add more color to this postcard. So I want you to do that. And then the very, very last step is when you flip over your postcard, you'll notice that there's a postage or a stamp on the back and there's blank lines. So you're gonna write who you're, the address of who you're sending this to and maybe write them a little note. Maybe you say you're beautiful or you were kind or thanks for being my friend. You're beautiful, it's true. There's so many things that you can write. So you are sending artwork in the mail because that's what you're gonna do and I'm, I love painting with you and I love how we can make art together and have it impact or touch someone in your life. So good job for doing this. This was a little fun, quick thing. Maybe you make more butterflies for other people in your life. 
and this was so much fun. So thanks for painting with me. Always remember that you're brave, kind, and creative, and we will see you next time. Bye.